bright beauty every student matters hello students in data handling till now we have studied how to collect data or what are the points we should keep in our mind while collecting data and the second thing we studied was organization of data that how should we organize the data so that the interpretation becomes easier and better and the third thing we studied was arithmetic mean or we can simply write it as mean also and then we studied how to find range of the data and after that we have studied how to find mode of the data and then finally we studied median of data and we have done many questions based on all these things now in this video we are going to study about bar graphs now what are bar graphs bar graphs are basically representation of a data we just represent the unorganized data in the forms of in the form of bar graphs it makes our interpretations easier and better now in this video we are going to see how we can use the bar graphs and what scale we should choose while forming bar graphs let's learn all these things by an help of an example let's learn all these things by the help of an example the question here is 200 students of 6th and 7th class were asked to name their favorite color so as to decide upon what should be the color of their school building the results are shown in the following table we have to represent the given table or the given data on a bar graph here one table is given which is representing favorite color and number of students corresponding to each color and then we have to answer these questions with the help of bar graph the first question is which is the most preferred color and which is the least preferred color and then we have to tell how many colors are there in all what are they now let's draw the graph for that first we have to consider the scale we can take one unit equal to 10 students as the highest number of students here is 55 so we will mark the number of students on the y axis or on the vertical line according to that only so it will be starting from 10 20 30 40 50 and then 60 this much is enough for this data and this point here is 0 and on the x axis or on the horizontal line we will be representing different colors let's represent red color here and then green blue yellow and after yellow we have orange now the number of students whose favorite color is red are 43 so we have to draw one bar whose height is of 43 so we can draw it like this this bar is representing number of students whose favorite color is red and for green we are having 19 so the height of the bar corresponding to green color will be this and then we have blue color and the number of students corresponding to it are 55 so its height will be according to that only so it will be like this and then yellow and number of students are 49 so 
so it will be like this here the vertical line is showing the frequency or the number of students we will write it here that this line is showing students now for orange color frequency is 34 so it will be like this so this is how we can prepare a bar graph now we have to answer few questions based on these bar graphs the first question is which is the most preferred color so as we can see from here the highest bar is of the first question is which is the most preferred color now as we can see from the bar graph the highest bar is corresponding to blue color so the most preferred color we can write it here most preferred color is blue color and the least preferred color and the least preferred color is the color corresponding to which height of the bar is lowest and that will be green color and we have to tell how many colors are there in all now as we can see here there are five bars in this bar graph so in total there are five colors and they are red green blue yellow and orange so in this question we have seen how a tabular form of data can be converted to a bar graph or how we can change the representation of the data and how it is useful to us and we have seen how we have to select the scale now let's see one more question on bar graphs the question is following data gives total marks out of 600 obtained by six children of a particular class we have to represent the data on a bar graph so here one table is given to us which is representing six students and their corresponding marks obtained out of 600 now we have to form a bar graph now for forming a bar graph first we have to choose the scale now the marks obtained here are 450 500 300 360 400 and 540 the highest marks obtained is 540 so let's choose the scale as one unit is equal to 100 marks now on the vertical line we will be representing marks of students so let's write it here marks now as the scale is 100 so let's mark the numbers on vertical line it will be like 0 and then 100 and then 200 300 400 500 and then 600 now as we can see 540 is the highest mark so till here it is enough now on the x-axis or on the horizontal line we will be representing different students let's write it here the first one is Ajay and then we have Bali and then Dipti and after Dipti we have Fayaz and then Gitika and at the last we have Hari 
now let's make bars according to their marks now ajay has scored 450 marks so height of the bar corresponding to ajay will be according to that only so it will be like this and for bali it is 500 marks so it will be like this and then for dipti it is 300 marks so height of the bar corresponding to dipti will be according to that only it will be 300 and then we have 360 so it will be like this and then gitika scored 400 marks so it will be like this height of the bar corresponding to gitika will be 400 as we can see from here in the graph also and then hari scored 540 marks so it will be like this height of the bar corresponding to hari will be 540 so this is how we formed a bar graph one tabular data was given to us and we have converted this data to a bar graph now from this bar graph we can see the highest graph or the highest bar is corresponding to hari which says hari has scored the highest marks in the exam or in the test look at the animation to make a frequency table involving activity and to represent the same as a bar graph shake well the box of counters take a handful of counters and place them on the table now sort these counters according to their color and make a table as shown Make bar graph for the data showing the colors and number of counters drawn. Now let's consider this data. This table is showing us average hours of sunshine in two different cities in Margate and in Aberdeen for all the 12 months now suppose we have to answer in a particular month what was which city was having more average hours of sunshine so for that or for answering such type of questions what we will do we will form a double bar graph for this data now for this data first we have to select the scale we can choose it as one unit is equal to one hour now the bar graph of this data will be like this here the vertical line is showing hours of sunshine and the horizontal line is representing different months and the empty bars are representing hours of sunshine for the city Margate and the shaded ones are showing hours of sunshine for the city Aberdeen. Now from this data we can easily tell in which month which city was having more number of hours of sunshine. Suppose we have to tell in the month of May which city which city was having more number of hours of sunshine so it will be margate as we can see for may for this bar the empty bar is having the empty bar is higher than the shaded one so therefore margate is having more number of hours of sunshine in the month of May 
these kind of questions can be easily answered using double bar graph now for better understanding let's consider one more question the question here is a mathematics teacher wants to see whether the new technique of teaching she applied after quarterly test was effective or not she takes the scores of five weakest children in the quarterly test out of 25 and in the half yearly test out of 25 and this table is showing marks of those five students in quarterly and half yearly now she wants to make a comparison and we know for comparison we should always draw a double bar graph the comparison between two different data becomes very easier there now for making a bar graph first we have to choose a scale now according to this data we can choose the scale as one unit is equal to five marks now the vertical line here will be representing marks and the horizontal line will be representing these five students so let's mark the numbers on the vertical line so it will be zero here and then five as the scale is five and then 10 15 20 and 25 as these marks are out of 25 now Ashish has scored 10 marks in quarterly so let's mark it so height of the bar corresponding to Ashish will be according to this data only and it will be 10 so the bar will be like this and in half yearly he has scored 15 marks so the second bar will be like this these are the marks for Ashish you can write it here and now we will draw bars for Arun Arun has scored 15 marks in quarterly so the first bar will be like this and in the second bar we have to represent marks of the half yearly and it is 18 marks so the graph will be like this now we have to draw for Kavish let's write Arun here under these bars and now we have to draw bars for Kavish he has scored 12 marks in quarterly so the bar will be like this and then he has scored 16 marks in half yearly so the second bar will be like this and then we have to draw bars for Maya Maya has scored 20 marks in quarterly so it will be like this and then Maya has scored 21 marks in half yearly so it will be bit higher than that previous bar as the difference is only of one mark and then for Rita Rita has scored 9 marks in quarterly so its bar will be of the height 9 and it will be like this And now for half yearly marks of Rita, it is 15. So graph will be like this. Now every second bar is representing marks of half yearly. So let's do one thing. Let's shade all these bars. Let's shade the second bar.
now the empty bars are representing marks of quarterly and the shaded bars are representing marks of half yearly we can mention it here like this this empty box is for quarterly and shaded box will be for half yearly now this is how we have made a bar graph or we can say double bar graph for this given data now from here we can easily compare marks of quarterly and half yearly of a particular student as we can see every student here has scored more marks in half a, half yearly you can write the names here it will be kavish maya and at the last rita now we can see from the bar graphs every time the shaded bar is higher than the empty bar therefore this implies every student has improved in half yearly as compared to quarterly which means the new technique of teaching is working for the students